Hey guys, how you guys doing? It is RNM back with another video and today we are gonna take a look at my PC setup over here as well as my work setup as well as my streaming setup over there. So we're gonna take a look at all that in this video and this video is gonna be a little bit technical because we're gonna talk a lot of specs over here with my wife over here, but my baby. So uh, I have been using this uh, setup for about I should say four months, right? I bought this whole setup, this whole thing over here with the casing, everything, right? Around, I think it was January, right? almost uh, mid January, if I'm not mistaken, right? The whole thing over here cost about 1,400 USD. Previously, I was using a Dell Inspiron 7567 gaming laptop, but uh, that is kind of a 1050 Ti graphics card, so eh, yeah, I was thinking of. It has been time, it's been long overdue, so that's why I wanted to upgrade into something a little bit better. And since we are working for almost all the time, so I need the horsepower over here. <laughs> yeah, we are riding the horse over here, everybody. So, uh, yes, I bought this before the uh, graphics card uh, price went up like insane. So let me just open this. So this is a NZXT ITX casing over here, right? Uh, mini ITX casing, okay? So let me bring you guys in and see how this this PC is built up, okay? So, now, the main important thing over here, of course, is the graphics card, right? So this is a 3070 graphics card over here. I got the MSI version. This is a 3-blade one, 3X. You can't see the blade, it's below, right? So it's a 3X one over here. Uh, it is powerful enough for me to handle a lot of usage for example i'm playing apex legend and i can render videos as well of course not 4k okay and i can also open up maple story as well and open like photoshop it through everything over here push everything to the graphics card and it just handles really well right apparently i wanted to get 3080 and it is actually over budget for me, so over my budget, so I just got the 3070 instead. So this is the 8 GB uh, one, so it's okay. All right. Then later on, you can see that the uh, motherboard over there. So the motherboard is the important one. So the motherboard, as you can see, is the green color light over here. So it is RGB lighting, right? I just don't use the RGB version. Okay. So I just use the green because everything over here is kind of green. So yeah, right? So I like, I like green and blue. So we just leave it over here like that, right? It's just going to be seamlessly sync. Okay, so the motherboard that I am using over here is the Gigabit B550i Arus Pro, right? It's the AX version. And um, the problem with this motherboard is that I should have gotten a better one because this ITX casing over here supports Type C, right? But my motherboard over here doesn't have an extra slot to just pop it up to the Type-C over there. But it has a Type-C port at the back, which is here. Right? It's a Type-C port over here. So, yeah. yeah. Take note of that next time you guys are building your PC. But anyways, now we have two RAM slots over here. This supports up to 64 GB. I am only using uh, 1616 over here, right? So the RAM that I'm using is, I'm actually using the Kingston Hyper X Fury, right? 16 GB, 3200. So the DR4, very nice indeed, right? It doesn't have the RGB one, but it is good enough. Then over here, we have the SSD over here, right? So the SSD over here, I'm using my old laptop SSD. I just plug it in over here since I don't really need that much, right? So I'll plug it in over here. This is the Samsung Evo 860 SSD. And also, main thing over here, the power, the brain, everybody, right? The AMD Ryzen 5 3600, right? So it can be overclocked to 4.0 or something? I forgot, right? And now it's just 3.6. I need to overclock it. Uh, yeah, so that is basically the whole beautiful setup over here, baby. And I know that there's no like fan intake over here, so it only fan out, right? I'm gonna try to get that later on. And also, this one, the power supply over here. I'm actually using the 750 watt power supply, it's a Legion power supply over here, so it's good enough. I got the Gold Plus over there. So, yeah, let me close back this baby up so we don't get any uh, unwanted guests inside our wife okay very nice indeed so that's basically it for the setup over here and now i'm gonna take a look at the microphone so this is like my 
my mic that I use, right? So this is the Lumia 960 microphone. So over here, as you can see, there's a microphone over here. This one, this one over here, right? This is just the microphone that I use, okay? Very, very tiny little microphone, right? Uh, I don't really have any good microphone over here. So how is my, my streaming setup over here is that, okay, as you can see, this is how it looks like, right? So normally when I'm streaming, I just put this up, okay? Put my bottle here. I don't drink from this bottle, so I'll, normally I'll pour it to here, okay? I just open this, put this here, close it down, very nice. Take this cloth, slap it up here, that's it, pull it over here a bit, that's it, that's my streaming setup, right? Then, of course, this keyboard's not that far, it's gonna be lower down a bit, so it's okay. Then, I have a camera over here. This camera that I'm using is the uh, Logitech camera, so this is the 720p camera. It's a bad one <laughs> okay so this is how the sound looks like that's it so yeah very simple everybody <laughs> this is normally when i stream i do meetings or anything right i'll just use this sometimes when i'm doing meetings i don't really use this mic because it's sometimes when you are just having a, a phone meeting or anything i will just um connect my phone with a i'll connect this PC over here, I want to talk outside or talk in the bathroom or whatever, right? I just use my Samsung Galaxy Buds over here, right? It's a wireless one. Pretty good, right? I like this. So I just use this over here. Okay, so now let's put this back up here. Okay, so it's very dynamic. Everything is very dynamic. And uh, yeah, we have Maple Story uh, Globe over here. I know it's a bit yellow because the water is like apparently yellow i know you can change it but it's okay i don't really want to change it anyway so yeah mm, yeah that and yeah this one the uh, marco pencil here sometimes i do my brainstorming at the glass over there and over there as well so i just <laughs> draw, draw my ideas over there right and uh yeah it goes down to the keyboard and mouse everybody so the keyboard i'm using is the black wheel 2013 i got this for second hand for my friend it's really really cheap right i've been using uh, that until today. Yeah, so the uh, mouse over here, this is a brand new mouse. This is the Logitech MX Master 3. I, I love this mouse and uh, it is actually very very good with the battery. Really good. Okay. And over here, this is the keypad or mouse pad over here, right? From MapleStory. Yay! Yeah, this is a very long one as you can see. My man so long my guy hell yeah so normally when i'm uh, eating or I, I want to watch a movie or anything i'll just slide this up over here right watch movie let's eat over here right so uh, of course when i eat i'll just put this cross over here just to make it not so dirty anyways and if i'm done with it i just slide it back down very nice now comes down to the speakers right this is the outer lensing speakers over here uh let me go back and see the model this is actually the v S4121, right? Uh, very good speakers, right? Although, at the woofer at the back, I have to like stick something over there, right? That is kind of like pretty normal. <laughs> it's a long, uh, long speaker already. Yeah, that's what happens with it. So, this is the speaker that I'm using. Very good, very nice. And now, the baby. The baby over here is the monitor, everybody. So, this monitor is 34 inches everybody so this 34 inch monitor over here let's bring back up oh yeah this is the motherboard this is the rgb version over here bling bling everybody so uh yeah maple story right this is, this is maple story over here. i don't because this is like super wide monitor so yeah maple story is up here and this is 34 inch xiaomi monitor over here um very nice it's using a samsung panel so it's actually very good color accuracy is about 121 percent sigb as well as maximum 300 nits so it's actually pretty good as you can see over here bye bam there's all the stuff over here so yeah, beautiful like very nice indeed i mentioned that already so yeah this is the whole setup over here i like this monitor is because it is cheap I got it for about 300, I think 300 something or 400 USD, I forgot, right? It's very clean, right? Everything is magnetic. 
This whole thing over here is magnetic, right? This whole thing, it's just magnetic over here. It's just slap it back in. That's it. Wow. The bottom panel also, this is magnetic as well. I don't want to take it off because I have, I have put everything here already. So this is one whole cable move everything down, right? So I like a cable management over here. So I don't really fix the keyboard because the keyboard I want to slide in and out. So I don't really fix that. So this is the cable over here and um, the RJ45 cable over here, the internet cable. I don't really fix it because I, sometimes I need to use the troubleshoot this guy over here sometimes, yeah. So that's about it. So yeah, the cable over there, not much cables, right? And as well, we have a lot of different uh, cables over here. And I separate my power socket, two of them. One is just for the PC and for my phone, right? We have a uh, Type-C over here for the phone, everybody. So I don't know if you want to charge your phone or anything, right? Let's set over there. And then we have another power socket over here, the extension over here, over here, just for this guy over here, which is the uh, router and also the modem. Because this one, you have to turn it on like 24 hours. I don't turn it off when I sleep. I don't do that shit, man. Okay, so I just have it on for 24 hours over here. So that's two different set of one. I turn it off, right? One, I just don't turn it off over here. Okay, so this router I'm using over here is the Asus 86U uh, router over here. So it's actually very good. Uh, this does not support AX. It's just AC. I didn't get the AX version. This was a pretty long time ago. So yeah, it's good enough. I mean, it's for small like right? this, right? So yeah. Yeah, pretty good. So I'm using a LAN, I'm not using a Wi-Fi. I'm just using a Bluetooth most of the time. So yeah. And oh yeah, this one, the coaster. I forgot about the coaster. This is my coaster because last time I've been using this as a uh, so-called mouse pad. But since I have this mouse pad over here, very nice. That's why I use this <laughs> as a coaster over here. So yeah, that's basically it for the whole setup over here. Let's bring it back down. Looks uh, ugly. It looks ugly, but it works, right? As long as it works, it's cheap. We good, cheat everybody. So yeah, that's whole setup over here. That's how it looks like. Right? The grass over there, so you can walk on grass. So that is basically it for this whole setup over here. I know there's a lot of boxes over there and the boxes over there. Yeah, those are the stuff that I need to put in in case I move. <laughs> so yeah, sometimes you just don't want to uh, uh, take everything in over here, right? So yeah, that is basically it. Let me come back down. Oh. All right, so that is basically it for the full showcase of uh, my setup over here. All right, so I'm pretty happy with this setup. I I'm super glad that I bought it before the price hiked up, right? If not, hey, this thing over here is gonna cost way, way more everybody right way way more so yeah that's all that's for my setup and i hope you guys enjoy this video it's a bit technical as always all right so yeah thank you very much for tuning in everybody i catch you guys in the next video as always leave a thumbs up subscribe and stay awesome everybody and stay safe bye bye